Bobby Bright to the AHL, Ole Lixell to the NHL, and the Flyers sticking right at 11 forwards and 7 defensemen. I'm Charlie O'Connor with the KHLY Sports here with your daily Flyers post-practice update. Morty Skage has ended here in Borghese, and we do have some information about the lineup for tonight's game against the Tampa Bay Lightning at 7 p.m., namely the introduction of Malik Lixell to the lineup. Lixell will indeed get the start tonight. Uh, only played in one game in his initial call-off earlier this season. He did play eight games last season for the Flyers. Uh, but in that one game, he only got about six minutes. He wasn't even expected to play that game. I was in Arizona. I was at that game. He played because Brian Kaling was sick. So this time, it does appear that Lixell is going to get a legitimate chance to uh, to show what he can do. Uh, he's obviously on the older side as a prospect, but he has been a productive player for the fans for quite a few years. And it looks like tonight he's going to, if the lines that they were out of practice today are any indication, he's going to be on line with the uh, pretty hot boarding Foss, who, aside from Saturday, was on a uh, was on a Foyt streak, was looking like one of the Flyers' better players over the last week or so, especially at the tail end of that road trip. And Cam Atkinson, who suddenly is scoring again as well. So this is a real opportunity for Lixell to show that he deserves to be in the NHL. However, for Lixell to get his chance, Bobby Brink was sent down yesterday. That was the big news of the late afternoon. Brink was the surprise uh, camp victim. He came out, came to camp, sell the end of preseason, earned a spot, and really for most of the first half looked pretty good. But over the past few weeks, his play has slipped, has yet to score a point in 2024, was getting 10 minutes or fewer pretty much every night. And he just didn't look like the same guy from the uh, the first couple months of the season. So the writing was on the wall for this one. It did seem like Brake was probably going to go down yesterday. They pulled the trigger. We talked to John Verderella about it today uh, before practice started, actually. And the one thing that did stick out that was interesting, and a little bit of a shot across the bow of Brake on his way down, uh, pointed out, number one, that, that Brake obviously needs to work on his play away from the puck. I think everyone knows that. Tortorella said during one of the road trips, uh, a few weeks ago that Brink needs to learn how to check. Tortorella reiterated that. I asked Tortorella specifically about that criticism to go into more detail. He did. He said it's all about, you know, positioning and, and checking through the stick and not necessarily through a player's ass, which he actually said, but mostly just about, you know, staying above the play and being a smarter all-around player without the puck. That was predicted. What I didn't expect to hear was Tortorella say that another thing that Brink needs to work on are his practice habits, which is a little bit of a shot across the bow of break, um, given the fact that practice habits, I would say, generally are viewed to be sort of a given. But in John Tortorello's eyes, I think practice habits, it's not just showing up to practice knowing what you're told to do. It's getting the most out of practice. I guess he thought that break, at least over the last few weeks or so, wasn't doing that. Probably played at least a little bit of his decision to give break some time down to the minors. I don't necessarily think Bobby Rigg is going to spend the rest of the year in the minors. I think this very easily could be a couple-week thing. Maybe a couple of guys get injured. Maybe Frank thrives down like the Phantoms. And he's right back up in a few weeks. But that's going to be on break. He's going to need to respond well to the demotion. Play well down there. Uh, uh, play in the very air. And then, if he does that, he very well could be back up soon. If not, he might be down there for quite a while. So, like, sell in, break out. And it does appear the Flyers are yet again going to go with an 11 forward, 7 the best roster. However, with Lixell coming in, it appears that Nick DeLaurier, groping the forward who sits, Owen Tippett did not skate today. He remains day-to-day with his lower body injury, but it does not appear that it, uh, a return on Tuesday is in the cards. He did skate, as we've noted on the show. He did skate before Sunday's game, a couple hours before, tested out, I believe it's an ankle injury tested it out. Uh, clearly not well enough to play on Sunday. It doesn't look like he's going to be well enough to play on Tuesday, but day-to-day could be back for one of the uh, the two games at the end of the week. In the here and now, though, Mixell comes in for DeLorean, who was getting extra work on the ice after practice with Mark Stahl, who appears to be the other scratch. Sam Erson in goal. Um, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the goalie controversy slash competition, Go check out my article that was published early this morning at altphly.com. Breaking down, Carter Vart, Sam Erickson. Interesting that Erickson is getting the start tonight. John Tortorella claimed that Carter Hart is healthy. However, Carter Hart did not skate today. They had the, uh, the extra goalie, the volunteer goalie on the ice, to serve as the second goalie for practice. So it's possible Hart is maybe a little banged up. I guess we'll see. 
in the end, I would expect Hart to be on the bench, serving as backup. But a little interesting that Ayrson's getting the start, especially given the fact that in this most recent three and four, Ayrson got two of the three starts. It's been 50-50, a 50-50 split since Christmas. Maybe Ayrson might just be starting to pull ahead just a little bit over Carter Hart. But that's what I would expect to see. I would expect to see Ayrson in goal tonight. 11-4-7 defenseman. Nick DeLore as a scratch up front. Mark Stahl as a scratch on the back end. And Lil Excel thinking really what is his first real start of the season given the back who's going to be placed with legitimate offensive talent. And his first game of the 2023-2024 uh, season was a six-minute cup of coffee in, uh, in Arizona that wasn't even expected. So we'll see what Lil Excel can, uh, can show the Flyers tonight. And if he can turn this, uh, this potentially brief call up into an extended stint. I've been Charlie O'Connor with DHLY Sports. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you tonight for our post game show. After the final buzzer, Bill Matz will be in studio. I will be joining after the interviews. Thanks so much. We all silly like the mayor. 